Hello friends, I have another idea for um, a card, so I thought I'd pop in and share it with you. Um, I already sponged one background, but I'm going to show you how I did that. I have a piece of Island Indigo paper, which is, it's not quite as dark as navy. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good word to, to describe it. It's an old Stampin' Up! color that is now retired, I believe. But I think any shade of blue would work for this because we're going to add quite a bit of ink on top of it. So I'm just using um, my regular Distress Inks. This is Chip Sapphire. And I'm just coming in and sponging. And it's not making a huge difference because this is dark paper, but that's okay. If you used a lighter blue, it would still work. But I'm just at layering on color. I'm purposely trying to leave the center of this lighter. I'm kind of creating a vignette look, which means it's dark all the way around the edges and lightest in the center. And once I get this blue on, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some purple. Let me see. If I hold this up. Can you guys see that that sponge it is not a huge difference but it, it will make a difference in the end so now I'm going to come in with my purple if you didn't have that blue you probably could skip it the only places we're going to end up really seeing it it's going to help us fade into that background a little bit so I'm now going around with the purple not super heavy but just kind of creating um, a darker edge. It's helping the signer become look more light. And this panel is cut to four inches by five and a quarter for a card. All right, we're done with purple. And now lastly, I'm gonna come in with my black. And you know, obviously black is very dark, so I don't wanna cover the whole thing in black. I just wanna come in in certain areas and, and darken it up so some of that purple and blue still shines through. Move this here a little bit. There we go. Soften that up. And I really like that look. Okay, let me hold it up and see if you guys get a close up of it. Again, it's fairly subtle. It's not super overpowering, but I do think that kind of looks like an evening sky, a dark sky, and so we're going to use these two panels to create a card. All right, so I let my panel dry just a little bit because Distress Ink is also used for embossing, and um, so it will grab the powder and not, you know, just the same way that Versamark will. So I didn't want the whole panel embossed, I just want this sentiment embossed. So I waited for my panel to dry a little bit, and now I'm inking up my sentiment from Technique Junkies, and I'm going to stamp that into the center of this pa um, panel. Make sure it all stamped. Might stamp it twice. It's always a good idea with a misty. That... Awesome. And now we're done with this. We can move this out of the way. So this is a gold shiny embossing powder that I picked up at um, Hobby Lobby. Nothing fancy. And I'm pouring this on top of my sentiment and that powder is going to go ahead and grab this pow um, embossing powder and I'm sprinkling the excess off into just a piece of cardstock and then I can return that back to the jar and now I'm going to go ahead and heat this up and there we go so now we can see our sentiment and says I love you in the morning and in the afternoon I love you in the evening and underneath the moon and if you have any um, powder left you can go ahead and use a cloth to go ahead and buff this and I love that this kind of looks like a galaxy or a night sky but we're not done yet we're gonna do one more thing and this is something I love to do with my Versamark and I often forget that I can do this so I'm gonna go ahead and take my paper and my pad and I'm gonna go direct to paper with my Versamark and I'm just kind of doing the swiping motion around the edges of my cardstock. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and get out my gold powder again. And if this time, if I do have any strays, it's, it's a good thing, I think. You want to have like little twinkles of, of gold here in your sky. They're going to look like stars. And let me go ahead and heat this up. All right, cool. So now see how we get this like gilded frame all the way around our sentiment and it just helps that pop even more. So let me clean up this powder and I have one more thing I want to add to this that I just think is going to pull this all together. All right, so now I pulled out my uh, Ganzai Tambi, is that how you saw that, Tambi? Watercolors and I have put just a little bit of water on my gold. There's several shades of gold. I picked the yellow gold in this case because I thought it matched the embossing powder. And I'm going to tap on my paper and it's going to leave little gold stars in my sky. Perfect. And personally, I really like to use a fan brush. I have a little dot here on my O for my U that I don't want there because I think it makes it harder to read. So I'm just going to use my cloth here to dab that up. Well, that's still wet. And I think that makes it easier to read now. All right, to finish these panels off, I just glued them to um, four and a quarter by five and a half black panels and then onto a A2 card base. I love this so much I ended up making two of them. I love this like gilded starry frame. Um, I hope this inspires you to try something with your embossing powders and this is a wonderful sentiment. I hope you guys check that out and have a good night guys. I'll see you soon.